Hey guys, how's it going? Cheers back again and welcome to episode number one of my player here on FIFA 16. This is going to be an introductory episode to kind of give you a taste of what this series is going to be like. It was my most popular series on FIFA 15 and hopefully that will continue to be the case here on FIFA 16. A quick message of note, as you can see in the background, I'm choosing not to use the plus five increase to my attributes. We're going to earn every single rating that we get through this my player series until the very end of FIFA 16. That was what we did last year was very successful as well and obviously this was my most popular series for FIFA 15 so hopefully it will be the same again this year we're going to be setting the save up in the background here with a post commentary and then to give you a taste of what the whole series is going to be like after the post commentary and the uh, the save etc is set up we've created my guy we'll go into uh, my first game as a pro and obviously all of the gameplay is going to be live commentated as has been the case with uh, my my player on FIFA 14 and subsequently on FIFA 15 and now for FIFA 16. If you go on to enjoy the episode, then please do smash that like button. If we could hit, say, 3,000 likes for this first episode, that would be absolutely incredible. Really help us get us off the mark with a boom, and uh, fingers crossed you guys will, uh, you know, go on to en enjoy the uh, the series as a whole. It was, like I say, my most popular series last year, and I'm hoping that it's going to go down as well this year as it did last. Like I say, though, we're going to be starting this year as a central attacking midfielder as opposed to a striker. We're also starting slightly higher up the foot Football ladder. Last year we started at Cambridge United, obviously my local team, and uh, we went through from League Two and worked our way up towards the Barclays Premier League. This time, as a central attacking midfielder, actually starting slightly higher up in the Championship as a 67 rated player, and uh, we'll try and do our business at Middlesbrough to earn our way towards the higher ratings and higher rankings of the football ladder. As you can see, I've used my game face again. Looks even more like me than last year, weirdly. It's the same game face that I had for FIFA 15. I've not changed it, but uh, for some reason, it looks even more like me. Let me know in the comment section down below whether you think there is uh, an increased likeness between myself and my uh, my my player now this year with the new FIFA 16 graphics, etc. I really like the way the game face has come out. I think my guy looks really good as well, actually, in the middle's kit. So I'm looking forward to getting cracking. Obviously, as you could uh, see there, we were setting him up as a central attacking midfielder. Going to go for the number eight, the kind of Frank Lampard number, the role. That's the sort of role that I want to play as a central attacking midfielder. I want to be arriving late in the box, scoring a few goals, definitely getting some assists and as you can see these are our league objectives for our first year in um, FIFA 16 they want us to uh, maintain a 6 Point zero uh, match rating or better that is definitely achievable as is a 65% pass completion rate and uh, they wanted us to uh, to create 30 chances and to score or assist just be involved in seven goals which shouldn't be a problem at championship level we are 21st in the list of uh, players though in the squad for a reputation or in squad ranking and we're nowhere near the top either when it comes to uh, our rivals for our starting cam position but uh, the, the side is playing a 4 2 3 one by default so I'm hoping if I can put in some good performances in pre-season and actually grow my rating slightly we will be able to uh, nail down that first team spot for the majority of the games but what's going to be extremely important this year is what you can see in the background right now you guys are going to be involved in this in the comment section of every single episode I'm going to need you guys to tell me where you think I should train my guy next this is obviously the new feature in uh, career mode this year you have a, a training feature so you can individually train players once a week and uh, up either the single uh, one player up to five times or obviously five separate players in five individual sessions you can train their dribbling defending passing uh, shooting uh, free kicks etc I'm not sure though where to uh, base my initial training I'm thinking obviously being a central attacking midfielder that I'm going to want to uh, prioritize passing as uh, you know we're going to need to get assists in that role I'm also going to want to prioritize shooting as well because we do want to pop up with your goal here or there if we possibly can a la Frank Lampard obviously Chelsea all-time top goal scorer he's kind of the aim right now for uh, that kind of that that's the level we want to aim for that's the peak of our career hopefully these are my starting stats though our physical stats start off very nicely I made my go five foot ten again uh, just to kind of make the uh, the all-round stats more balanced so we've got 71 short passing which is a great uh, kind of area to start with uh, it's a good starting platform there our tackling isn't the best but obviously we can improve that with training or accomplishment achievements and uh, our first touch ball control free kick accuracy I'd like to improve slightly I might try and uh, prioritize training on that as well because it might be nice to try and get some set piece goals also 
also will perhaps get some assists from set pieces. Our long passing is uh, not as good as it perhaps could be, but 68 is still okay. Physical wise though, we've got great stamina, good uh, sprint speed and acceleration, decent agility and balance, which is also going to be key in those central areas. But I'm hopefully going to be able to uh, grow by two or three ratings in this first uh, month of August. That's the plan at least with the training and hopefully some uh, on-pitch accomplishment getting as well. But that's going to bring this introductionary uh, post-commentary part of the episode to a close. We'll jump into the first friendly next. Obviously we'll be involved in the uh, the pre-season tournament here at Middlesbrough and uh, obviously if you enjoy the video to this point and haven't hit the like button so far then definitely do and if you aren't subscribed to the channel already then definitely hit the sub button as well. As I record this as we uh, start the FIFA 16 year we've just hit 87,000 subscribers so who knows where we'll end up by this time next year I started FIFA 15 at 18k and we've started FIFA 16 at 87k so almost a 70,000 subscriber boost from 15 to 16 who knows where we'll be at FIFA 17 hopefully you guys will still be with me by that point and uh, we'll cut here and we'll go into the live commentary and uh, I'll see you in a second for our first game as a professional footballer on FIFA 16. Okay then, so I've advanced as far as this first friendly against Sassuolo on July the 5th, 2015. We are starting in the uh, cam spot, as you might expect. We should start for every single pre-season friendly, and hopefully we should start for every single full game as well. We're playing on World Class, obviously. It's the uh, starting difficulty. We'll be playing all of our career modes on this year. Hoping that uh, we can have a decent first game. Obviously, like I say, this is going to now be a live commentary of the game itself. I don't do the full game, obviously. I do uh, highlights, etc. And uh, then edit it down. But hopefully you guys are enjoying this episode so far. If you are, hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, let's jump in to this uh, first game against Sassuolo. Bennett into Clayton. Back to Bennett. I'm going to call for this here. He's drilled it into me. I see the run. We'll try and play it over the top to uh, the man running down the wing. It's Reach. Adam Reach. We'll see if he can get past Gazzola. He can't. But that was our first uh, long lobbed through ball of our career. Played a couple of challenge, couple of uh, passes to this point and put in a couple of tackles. Another successful one there. So uh, we started this game in the right manner. We just need to make sure that we continue in this vein. And then hopefully we can get ourselves maybe an assist, maybe a goal. Who knows? I'm not too sure whether we'll be put on uh, free kick duty if we do get a free cook or whether we'll be uh, taking corners etc I would like to think as a cam that we would have decent base stats for taking those sort of set pieces but uh, we'll have to wait and see Biondini in the middle to Duncan I don't know what my defensive responsibilities are here I don't know whether to close down people and get you know drop quite deep and get involved in the defensive play or to just try and be that interlinking man between the breaking defenders or holding midfielders and the striker up top I'm yet to kind of figure out what my tactical role is so far but we've been all right so far we've kept a little bit of possession they've had that first shot there that is genuinely the first shot of the game so hopefully we can create some chances of our own between now and half time should be a comfortable header for the defender is Bennett will fire this in towards me now I could go for a shot there if I had just been able to lay it out in front of me properly we've skipped past the defender there we'll lay that back it wasn't necessarily meant for Emiliano in Sue but never mind I'll try and play that around the corner to Stuani who's played it back to me oh and I can't get my first touch under control properly it's going to be difficult for me to get used to this game initially in the my player sense because obviously for FIFA 15 we ended the uh, the season with a 97 rated pro so getting used to a 67 rated pro again is going to be uh, a challenge in itself but we're doing alright so far here's Clayton into Stuani around the corner to reach can't get his way past the defender though 10 minutes to go to half time and at the minute we stay at 0-0 Dangerous position for a free kick here for Sassuolo. They've stood it up into the box. Keeper's come and not got there. I don't know whether that took a deflection off the uh, defender. It did. It's going to be a corner then for Sassuolo. Another dangerous ball to get whipped into the box. I'm on near post duty, but it's going to go over my head. They've knocked it back towards the edge of the box, and Falsinelli brings it down into Duncan, linking up nicely here, Sassuolo. Can they create something? I'm um, still getting used to my positional awareness. Obviously... Having been playing as a striker for the past two years, my initial instinct is to just push out the box and rush forward. But I need to be more wary of my defensive responsibilities now in this camera. So it might take me a couple of episodes to get used to where I should be on the pitch in certain situations. But I'm pretty confident that we can be uh, an effective player. Obviously the conditions aren't helping right now in the absolutely uh, heaving rain. But uh, we are at the Camp Nou. No better place to make your debut, is there really? We're playing this... Uh, this international pre 
season tournament in Spain, and our first ever game is at the Camp Nou. So 0-0 at half-time against Sassuolo, but promising signs. Just need to make sure that we can start to get the ball the other end of the pitch and create some chances. Duncan squeezes that through to Biondini, gets it out wide to Domenico Berardi. Hands down their best player on the pitch right now, Domenico Berardi, and probably the best player in their entire squad as well, seeing as Simone Zaza has actually transferred to Juventus now, uh, IRL. So he's going to be their main attacking force. And uh, we'll try and send through Stuani here. I'll try and catch up with him if I can. I've not got that much stamina yet in my uh, in my career or in my stats, my base stats, because obviously we haven't played any games yet to increase our stamina stat. But I'm still going to try and put myself about a bit if I can, although I may end up uh, just being completely shattered by the end of the game. But they're talking about Petr Cech for some reason. Transfer confirmed. Petr Cech to Arsenal, obviously. Not really too sure what relevance that bears on today's game but I've done well there no it's gonna be a free kick to them is it okay thought I'd done enough there to try and win that back never mind I've actually come short here to stop them from going short it's a weird run up he's gonna loft it into the box cleared away that's a nice header as well I'm gonna make the run Stuani could play me through here he has done now gonna try and turn inside the defender I have done and then gone down no foul from the referee well, there was a good opportunity. Here's another good opportunity. We've been able to win it back again. Stuani might use me again. Has done. Good first touch. Good second touch. Shot from the edge of the box is on target. Pamini makes the save. Defender not too hurried in his clearance. There is our first shot as a professional footballer. I perhaps could have taken that a little bit further in on goal, but I felt like having a crack from the edge of the box. Maybe that's my 97-rated predecessor uh, coming out in me there. Normally, I'd have been quite comfortable having a shot from there from the edge of the box on FIFA 15, my player, towards the end of our career. Going to have to get used to uh, needing to take it in that little bit closer and being slightly more clinical with my finishing rather than being able to just hit it in from anywhere. But again, it's going to take a while to get used to, but we it's what we wanted to do in this second half was create chances, and we have done exactly that just there. Half an hour still to go, though, and we remain with a 0-0 scoreline. Bennett, nice ball up to Stuani, same about his first touch. Biondini into Misseroli, down the line towards Defrel, who's just come on as a, a substitute. I've had my position changed to right striker now, which will suit my mindset better than uh, Cam, at least as we try and bed ourselves into this new central attacking midfielder role, because I am used to playing as a striker from FIFA 15, my player. And Sue is trying to do his best here to force his way down the right-hand side, but the pass can't find me. I'll close him down, try to throw myself into that tackle. That could be a wonderful lob through ball. Rhys Williams challenges with the defender, though, and we're able to come away with it. I think we've switched. What are you doing? I think we've switched to a 4-4-2 now we have. And Kike is about to come on for Stuani, and I'm actually... It said I've been changed to right striker, but apparently I'm about to get changed to centre mid instead, because... Uh, Kike is about to come on for someone else. I'll stay in this striking role for now, and then when that substitution is made, I'll drop back into that centre mid role. But I'm hoping to be played predominantly as a central attacking midfielder at every club that we play for throughout our career. We will have to uh, pay attention to the default formations of the sides that we get transfer offers from later in our career, because obviously we don't want to get stuck in just an out-and-out centre mid role. Wow, I got punched square in the face there. The guy's taking his time to get to his feet. We don't want to get stuck in kind of a, a centre mid role. I really want to make sure that I am uh, down as a cam. Can we get another chance here? No, wow. My guy took two hands fully square to the nose there. Could have had a chance to get ourselves a header and a goal. Here comes that change. Not too sure who it is going off. It's Andre Bennett and Kike's coming on. And there you go, new position, left centre mid. So we've changed position again for the second time in the game. I could have a long shot from here, but I won't. I'll play it off. Don't quite feel comfortable enough yet to do that from that sort of distance. Here's Damia, though, working it into the box. We're in a decent position. I was going to come short there. It has fouled me, but I can't quite get my first touch under control. Five minutes still to go, and again, nil-nil the score. Big kick. Should be able to win that midfielder, and he has done, and I'm going to pick it up. Stuani made me a decent run there, and then kind of stopped. So it's Kike, actually. Stuani must have gone to right strike. I'm in the box now. My instant... Instant reaction there as the ball goes down the line is to just get myself into the middle of the box. Maybe I should just perhaps hang off on the edge of the box. You guys will have to let me know in the comment section how you think I should play in uh, in certain situations. So uh, I can perhaps try and, like you are going to uh, help me train my player, perhaps you can help me, uh, you know, figure out the sort of playing style that... Uh, you want me to play with. We had one shot in that game that you saw, and we have been able to unlock a couple of aesthetic items, like uh, untucking my kit and uh, having a, uh, a a long sleeve shirt, etc. But 
Not too many chances in the game, hopefully future games are slightly more exciting, but that will bring this uh, opening My Player episode to a close. Thank you very much for watching. Be sure to drop the video a like rating if you enjoyed. Let me know in the comments section what you thought, and uh, of course subscribe if you haven't already. Check the channel page, I was going to say actually check the channel page for anything you may have missed over the past few days, but this is probably the first FIFA 16 video you've seen, so be sure to uh, stick around for tomorrow, because obviously we will have episode number one, and probably episode number two as well of the Chelsea career going up on Friday and then on Saturday we'll head straight into the full normal schedule so we'll have my player in the afternoon and then episode one actually of the Wolfsburg career mode in the evening but that's going to bring today's video to a close thank you very much for watching guys really appreciate all the support drop the video a like subscribe if you haven't and I'll see you next time